Okay, I've got a purple uh, 60s Smith Corona Coronet Electric 10 inch carriage on it. So it's a Coronet 10. Um, it is electric with a manual return. Let me show you around. This one is going to be good for kids, for casual riders, for those who just want to um, kind of get their feet wet in the typewriter world, but don't want to invest a ton of money just yet, but they at least want to have one around. This is great for that. This is just, uh, it's great to have in your office or homework room or study room. Um, wherever, because it's going to look good. I love the purple on it. That is not the original color. We did repaint it. All right, let's take a look around, and then I'll do a type typing demo on it. Here you have your paper holder, and then margins. You press and drag to set left and right margins. And then also, when your carriage gets to the end, when you're typing and you get to the end of the line, close to your margin, the bell will go off. And that tells you that you need to hit the return handle or you hit margin release and then you can keep going. Okay, so the carriage release are these white levers on each side of the carriage and you can move it. I'm going to go ahead and leave the carriage to the left and then I'm going to, um, hold on, I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to open the top. This top is a little sticky, by the way, so I find that. Um, just take your two thumbs, place, place it right here on either side of that logo, and then just pull. Okay. Um, you'll find the ribbon. It's a new ribbon. We put new ribbons in all of our typewriters. It's a universal ribbon, a two-inch spool. You can get replacements on our website. The link is in the description below. When you thread it, make sure it's threaded through. You can see an up-class photo on the product listing so you can do that properly. Also, I have a video that shows you how to replace the ribbon. Black on top, red on bottom. Always make sure your ribbon is installed properly. If you ever have issues with your typewriter, always start with the ribbon. Okay, so when you get to the end of the spool, you're gonna need to reverse the direction of it because you can use up the ink, go back and forth and use it up, and this is how you change the direction is right here. So just back and forth. Tab button, you set it and you clear it with these buttons here. Okay, let's turn it on and load up the paper and do some typing. By the way, when you use your return handle, it's going to advance either one, two, or three lines, depending on how you want to set it right here on this lever on the left side. This little doodad down here, if you bring it down, that releases, it frees up the roller so that you can adjust to um, your lines wherever you want, because sometimes when that's engaged, it, it just clicks through a half a line and you're like, that's not exactly where I want it. So that's what this does. Freeze the roller for you to do whatever you want. And then you need to re-engage that before typing again. Okay. And I got that in really crooked. So right here on the right side, it releases the tension. I'm going to... Make sure that's lined up, close the paper release, and then let's start typing. Oops, I had the caps lock on. Let's start over. This is so easy to type on. That's why I recommend it for kids because um, for their little fingers, it's really easy to use. This type's really nice. You know, it's even though I don't always recommend it for authors or whatever, if you don't want to spend a ton of money, then one of these Smith Corona electrics like this coronet, man, you can easily write your book on it, no problem. You're gonna love it. It's it's very much an everyday typewriter, business forms, um, anything really. It's just a good typewriter to have. Okay. Also, it's great for those of you who type fast. Whoop. 
whoops, backspace. If you make a mistake, you just type over it. Okay, let's try the red ribbon. Oh my gosh, this types so well. You know what, it may not be the prettiest or the most collectible typewriter, but if you're looking for something to use, get this one. It's amazing, I love it. So, I'll take a picture of this, you can take a look at it, and you can go to the links in my description below um, uh, to if you wanna learn more about it. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day.